St. John Vianney. August 4th is the feast day of St. John Vianney, a French Catholic priest who lived from 1786 to 1859. Known as the Cure d'Ars, he spent 16 to 18 hours a day in the confessional during the last decade of his life. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you. St. John Vianney was born on May 8, 1786, in France, as the fourth of six children to Mathieu and Marie Vianney. Raised in a devout Catholic home, he witnessed the bravery of priests during the anti-clerical terror phase of the French Revolution in 1790. These priests, risking their lives to serve the faithful, became his heroes. Despite the dangers, he received his first communion catechism instructions privately from two nuns who had lost their convents to the revolution. At 13, John made his first communion and prepared for his confirmation in secrecy. At 20, John left the family farm to pursue his studies. However, the ongoing revolution disrupted his education, making it particularly challenging, especially in Latin. Despite these difficulties, he persevered. When religious freedom and peace were eventually restored, John was drafted into Napoleon's armies. Falling ill two days into service, he met a young man who led him to a group of military deserters hiding in the mountains, with whom he lived for over a year. After deserters were granted amnesty, John returned to Akali to resume his studies. Although considered too slow and not a very good student, particularly in Latin, his mentor, Abbe Bali, persuaded the vicar general that Viennese piety was great enough to compensate for his academic shortcomings. Finally, he was ordained a priest and later assigned to the parish of Ars, a tiny village with very lax religious attendance. In Ars, Viennese established a home for girls and worked tirelessly to revive the faith of his parishioners. He visited the sick and poor, spent days in prayer before the blessed sacrament, and led by example through penance. Known for his gifts of discernment, prophecy, hidden knowledge, and miracles, he was tormented by evil spirits, especially at night. His reputation for sanctity and his skill in the confessional attracted crowds, and by 1855, R saw 20,000 pilgrims annually. St. John Vianney died on August 4, 1859. He was declared venerable by Pope Pius IX in 1873, beatified by Pope Pius X in 1905, and canonized on May 31, 1925. He often said, private prayer is like straw scattered here and there. If you set it on fire, it makes a lot of little flames. But gather these straws into a bundle and light them, and you get a mighty fire rising like a column into the sky. Public prayer is like that. He also said that, you either belong wholly to the world or wholly to God. You cannot please both God and the world at the same time. They are utterly opposed to each other in their thoughts, their desires, and their actions. The good God will pardon a repentant sinner more quickly than a mother would snatch her child out of the fire. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you.